Hi, this is Searcher in Charge. We're here to help you find quality answers to your questions. This is video two in our series of videos that help you find quality health information. In the last video, we learned how to set up a plan with two steps so you could find quality health information. In the first step, we identified the health question. In the second step, we determined where to find quality information. Today, we are going to show you a few search tips to help you find quality information faster and be your own searcher in charge of finding quality answers to important health questions. You can stop the video and practice the search tips on your computer, then start again when you're ready for more. Before we practice a search, I want to emphasize that just because we find information does not mean it's good or quality information. This is something I'll say over and over again. Later on, we'll spend an entire video or two learning how to analyze the information we find. Okay, let's start with the question we identified in our last video. What are some health conditions associated with shortness of breath? In the last video, we determined where to find quality information and identified the library as a source. A library website ties in with our first search tip. Start your search in a website that generally has quality health information first before going to Google, Yahoo, or Bing. Since the library has quality health sources, let's see how this would work. I'm on one website for a public library. Each public library website will have a different layout, so look for a link called Research Tools, Research Databases, or Databases, and click on it. At this point, I've not used a library card. All I'm doing is looking for something called Subjects, or Topics, or Guides, or Best of the Web, to see that how the library is grouping their information. As I scroll down, I see they use subject guides, and we are looking for health and or medicine. You can see the library is also a starting point for other questions in addition to health and medicine. Let's click on the health and medicine. We are now on the library's website for health and medicine and see they have several health sources. Below the text for suggested websites are quality websites in other health areas. If we were to scroll down further, we could find websites on cancer, diabetes, heart disease, alternative medicines, and more. We want to gain an overview of breathing problems, so we will stay in the general category, plus learn one web website for health we can use now and in the future. So let's click on the link for Medline Plus. We are now on Medline Plus website and can see their name medlineplus.gov in the address bar. We will go down to the search box, the big white blank box, and type in breathing problems. They are, these are the keywords from our question. Then let's click on the search Medline Plus and see what happens next. The search results show an overview of breathing problems. At the top, when we click on the More link to read the rest of the overview, we can gain an understanding of breathing problems. If we look below, there are more search results. We decide which source to read by looking at this title, uh, who it is from, and the brief written material. Also on the left, you will see Medline Plus has grouped articles, and there is one on shortness of breath with 14 articles. To read those, you would click on that link. Okay, here is what we learned today. Start looking for information in a website with quality health information first before going to Google, Yahoo, or Bing. Begin with your public library website and look for health and medical information. You can see two examples here for different public libraries. Remember MedlinePlus.gov. It is useful in the future with other health questions. You now have some basic information to discuss with your healthcare professional. This is Lark Birdsong bringing you Searcher in Charge to help you learn how to find quality answers. See you on our next video.